Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com with some more sort of computer science theory. And today I wanna to talk about continuing on the discussion of uh, data structures. So just to kind of summarize, we have two sort of main data structures. You have an array where basically you just store a series of items in the sequential block of memory. So basically they're all right next to each other. So here's item number one, two, so one, two, three, four. Okay, because again, with an array, the or the first item is always indexed zero. But the ideas are right next to each other, so it makes it really easy to find memory-wise. It's organized memory-wise. Problem is, you may end up using all this memory over here and using all this memory over here. So now, when you want to put in a new item, what you'd have to do is make a copy somewhere else with a bigger block of data, and then go back and then erase this it gets more complicated when you decide to take stuff in or put stuff take stuff out. But if you know what data you're gonna have and you just put it there ahead of time, it's pretty nice, it's efficient, you can quickly find the information. Now when you don't know what, so this is an array. Then we had linked lists, which basically the idea was, well, you don't know how many total pieces of data you'll have when everything's said and done, so you created something like this, where you'd have the, the data so D, and then you'd have a pointer. So you'd have, there's my first data point and then a pointer, so that way when I create my next data point somewhere else in the memory, so we'll say over here, so the, here I have another data point, this pointer will point to that location in the memory where my next data point is, then I have another pointer for when I add something else. But again, these are not sequential blocks of memory. Okay? And then that's kind of how that it's all connected. But the problem is the only way for me to find a particular item is to find the item before it. So I'd have to start here, read the little message saying, oh, this the next item is here, and then the next item is here. It's like a scavenger hunt or one of those like mystery hunts where you have to go find one thing and the thing gives you a clue for where the next item is. But it allows you to have a long sort of list of data. This is referred to as a linked list. Now, using these tools, we can create other types of data structures, which is what I mainly wanted to talk about today, which was stacks and queues. Okay, so we can create what's called a stack. Now, if you ever played Magic the Gathering, you're probably familiar with the idea of the stack. Okay, um, but for, for most people, the better analogy would be something like pancakes. But the idea is, or a pile of clothing. So imagine that I have a piece of data here. Okay and I decide to put more data on top of it. So that goes on top of the data. And imagine that they're like physically on top of each other, like pancakes on top of each other. No. Okay, and I just keep stacking pieces of data right on top of each other. So every time I add a piece of data, it's referred to as pushing. I'm pushing data onto the stack. But what happens is that now I want to take a piece of data out. But Imagine you want to eat the pancake right at the bottom. You can't really do that. If you pull out the pancake at the bottom, you'll create a mess. So what you have to do is you have to take the one off the top or take the, the clothing off the top or if you're playing Magic the Gathering, resolve the spell that's, or the action that's on top of the stack. So basically everything always happens at the end. So then when I want to take this out, so again, I'm pushing stuff into the stack or onto the stack and then I am popping it off the stack. I, I take it off. Okay, and this is also referred to as LIFO, last in, first out. So whoever the, the last item that's there ends up being the first item out. Okay, that's a stack. But then there's a queue. Now you guys have been, if you've ever been to an amusement park, you've done a queue. Okay, this is just essentially a line. Okay, so here, first data point runs in, gets in line and then new data point gets in line and new data point gets in line. Think of these as like calls to a printer saying, hey, I wanna go print something. Well, who should get printed first? The person who got there first. So that's gonna be the first thing in line. Okay, and then that will dequeue, meaning it gets out of the queue and goes to the printer. Okay, and then when a new print job arrives, it will queue, it gets into the line or on queue. Okay, it'll get into the line. So this is referred to as FIFO. Who gets out, which data gets used first? The first one. Okay, the first, like the person who got there in, first in, first out. They got there first, 
So they're gonna go out to the printer first. So this is queue in stack. Queues in stack can be implemented into a program uh, when you take a look at the underlying memory management using linked lists and arrays. So hopefully you guys found that um, useful and enlightening and educating. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Have a great day and enjoy.